Hello, and welcome to your 40th SQL Server tutorial. My name is Johnny DeLuca, and today I want to talk to you about merging data using the merge statement. So the merge statement is a hybrid that can insert, update, and delete data in a single query. Depending on how you write the query, it can perform almost any combination of insert, update, and delete. A merge statement is usually used to perform an upsert, which is a combination of inserting and updating data. Merge checks for the existence of a row, and if the row does not exist, a new row is added. If the row does exist, then it is updated. Usually, the merge statement joins between a source table and a destination table. The source table contains the data that will be either added to or updated in the destination table. The destination table work will accept the inserts or updates. And I have an example here. And so go ahead and type this in your query editor. Uh, and then go ahead and execute it. And you should see I've already done so. It should say 19 rows have been affected. So We'll break down here in this query, the dbo.department table is the destination table and will either be updated or inserted into. The human resources.department table is the source table and will provide the data to the destination table. Now, similar to join, the on keyword is used to perform the match between the two tables. So, in other words, if there is a match between the two values from each table, then update the rows. If there's not a match, then insert those rows. So, we see the insert, uh, we see the update, we see the on keywords as I explained. So, hope that makes sense to you. Merge is a very handy tool. Uh, something to note. You can use additional keywords to further extend the functionality of the merge statement. You can base inserts or updates on either the target or the source. So that does it for this tutorial. Thanks for stopping by. In my next tutorial, I'll be covering returning output data. See you there.